Hello people, uh, I'm the man 33071 and this is my top 10 list. Now, coming in at number 10 is Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, I like Black Ops, it's really fun. Uh, what I hate about most of these games is that they're depending online. They're dependent on online. No joke, the this game would not be bought if there was no such thing as online Xbox. That is a fact. That, that is definitely a fact, but, um, let's see. Uh, without online, Black Ops would not exist. I, I mean, the campaign is fun, uh, combat training is fun, but I, I've heard that most, most people who've played it dislike it. I play it. I like it. I've seen people rage about it. I've heard people rage about it. Um, currently it's in my system. Choose not to grab it. It's not there. And, uh, this is my number 10. Here's my number 9. Number 9 is Universe at War. Now, this is a strategy game. A real-time strategy game. Now, what that means, for some of you people who are just playing Black Ops all the time, now, this means that this means war. Literally. You build armies, you build giant machines, you build structures, defenses, towers, everything you can think of, you build. And that's why this game is fun to me. I like strategy games. Uh, this game is one of them. And I truly like it. But I choose not to show it. What is it? Uh, if anybody has a copy of this, I would love to play with them online. My gamer tag is the man555. And you can find me usually playing Black Ops slash Halo. Next. It's Halo Wars. Don't have the actual copy. This is just a blank representation of what it was, slash is. So, uh, Halo Wars, what can I say about it? It's again, a real-time strategy game where you build units, destroy units, build towers, defend towers, but they do it simpler. They make it simple because they're trying to make it just for the Xbox. Universe at War is actually meant for the PC. Halo Wars is different. Halo Wars actually goes before Halo 2, or before even Halo 1. It goes prior to that. It goes to where they just attack Reach, and it's a totally separate storyline. There's Spartans. Okay? So... Yeah, uh, nothing else to say about it besides it's Halo Wars. Next is a fun PS2 game, or PS3 game. It's called Little Big Planet. Again, don't have the copy with me. Um, Little Big Planet, what can I say? Little Big Planet is super fun. Um, I have quite a bit of friends at school who like to play it. Uh, I personally like to play it, give or take it's rated E. And this game shows that not all fun games are rated M. You hear that? Not all fun games are rated M. Okay? You, you don't need to be rated M. I don't care for rated M games. <sighs> so that's beside the point. So... Going on. The next game that I think is fun is Portal 2. Again, don't have the actual copy. Um, Portal 2 is a puzzle game. It's considered a puzzle game. I like it. It's a puzzle, and it's very fun to play, because it tests your mind. It doesn't test how well you could shoot somebody before they shoot you. Which is basically all Black Ops, Call of Duty franchise is. It's all grab a gun, shoot. 
that's it. And, uh, huh, jeez. But, that's really fun, because there's an online mode, which continues the storyline even further, besides the single player mode. Uh, you play main character named Shell, unknown to some, known to most, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. Next. Halo Reach. Now, Reach is a reason why Halo should end. This is great. You know, you now know the storyline. There's no need for a number four. Why are they making the Halo four? But besides that, um, Reach is really fun. Uh, it's another part of the Halo franchise, which I like how they have the new types of perks and stuff, where basically there's armor lock, flying, evade, invisibility, holograms. I like how they made that. I thought that was pretty ingenious, but as some people hate it, some people love it. I'm one of those people who like it and put it in my top five list. Next is Persona 4. Again, don't have it, and it's actually for the PS2, but that's beside the point. Now, Persona 4 is a, um, I want to say Final Fantasy type game where you walk around and you encounter random enemies where the random enemies will attack you'll be in a squad of three four or five whatever the squad's in um thing is you don't actually like i like the art style the art style is really fun and uh the art style i like the art style um it's anime basically it's basically a small anime show which is good and bad because I don't know some people hate it some people like it I personally like it and I I want to buy it I I actually don't have Persona 4 which um is quite amazing because I talk about it uh what's next what's next let's see number eight Castlevania don't have it because it's an arcade game but, uh, besides that, Castlevania Harmony of Despair. Now, I'm a Castlevania fan. My friends are Castlevania fans. And, personally, I like it. Um, the songs are great. Um, I'm gonna put a little audio clip right here. <laughs> That's the that's just a piece of the audio. Now, most of the time the audio is super cool. It's like an actual band being there playing for them. Uh I like it. The songs are really cool, but they don't have one song. It's called Bloody Tears. And it was in the original and it's probably provoked as the theme song of Castlevania and they don't have it in there. I am furious about that because that is the one song that should be in Castlevania. All the other songs are really cool, but that is the one song that should be in there. Moving on. This one I actually have a copy of. Surprise! Oblivion. I love Oblivion. Um, what is it? Let's see. Oblivion is a really fun game. Uh, I've played it before, but uh, there's just one scene in it that really, really takes me up. That, that's besides the point. Um, nobody needs to know about that scene. And nobody should text that. So help me, I will kill you if you text that in the comments. I will block you, then kill you, and find where you... That's... never mind. But Oblivion is fun. Uh, Oblivion is basically a medieval knight slash mage sword, shield, and bow. Where you basically walk around, complete quests, complete quests, and uh, it's really fun. 
Uh, this is also available for the PC, Xbox, PS3, blah, 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 blah. Not for the Wii. The Wii sucks. But, this is one of my favorite games because of that. This is the Game of the Year edition, so I have, uh, I also have Shivering Isles and Knights of the Nine. So, what is my fantastical final fun built faculty? Well, it all started, well, that entire sentence started with an F, so I think it's an F. Hmm. Fallout New Vegas. Now, I own Fallout New Vegas for both PS3 and Xbox, clearly Xbox version shown. Um, but it's really fun to play. Um, if, there's not really a lot to say that people haven't already known. But if you've played Fallout 3, you would love Fallout New Vegas. Um, my opinion about it is that it's a little rushed. The, the, the Fallout New Vegas is pretty rushed. Because there was a whole lot of bugs in it. Like, every time I waited, my game would freeze. Every time I saved, my game would freeze. Every time I loaded it. But, um, yeah. I'm just joking about that. Um... But it did freeze when it was high action moments where you threw a grenade and then shot people twice in bats. And uh, it would then freeze your system. Which, what, what are you going to do? Press the power button and then restart it. And um, that's my top ten list. Uh, hope you like it. And um, I'll see you later. Bye!